Hey guys, thank you for joining my channel. My name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to be building a zombie apocalypse compound for you. For those of you who don't know, I am a huge horror movie fan. Like, absolutely love horror movies, and I love all things zombies. I mean, I've been watching zombie movies since I was little. And so when The Walking Dead became a thing, I was here for it. I watched it religiously. Uh, when, once I got rid of television, it became more and more difficult to watch it. So now I have to wait until they put seasons on Netflix before I can, before I can catch up. So don't put any spoilers in the comments. That'll make me very sad. But I do really, really love The Walking Dead. And I was inspired for this build by Herschel's farm. It's not quite quite the house, and you know, I, I turned it from a farm into a compound. Kind of my vision if they had really jazzed up Herschel's farm and made it into the compound that it could have been. So that's that's what's going on. Um, yeah, zombies. They are the best. However, in my opinion, the best zombie movie TV show out there is uh, Train to Busan. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, I would suggest checking it out if you love zombies and you are completely fine with foreign films. It's it's an amazing piece of art. Like it's it's really good. So yeah, check it out. Train to Busan. But as you can see, I'm just kind of working on the working on the house right now. I decided I end up I ended up wanting a wraparound porch, so I did that. In this build I use a lot of debug items and I use move objects a lot. So if you do de decide to download this from the gallery, make sure you have move objects turned on. Now for the siding, I wanted it to look a little beat up, so I used the siding from Island Living. You know, it would have been perfect if I had the vampire pack for this build, but I don't have the vampire pack. So I did, I did the best I could. But my thought with this build is that, you know, they've been here a while. They're not keeping up with the painting of the house, so it's looking a little rough. But it's still, it's keeping everybody safe and it's still very homey. So yeah, I'm using a lot of debugs. I use a debug for the trucks and most of the outside. A lot of the outside is debug items. I wanted to make this compound very self-sufficient, so I put, I put the pond in so that your sim can fish. And most everything is of, is off grid. You can use it off grid. The kitchen, I ended up making it uh, the sink. I I wanted to have a sink in the kitchen, so the sink in the kitchen is not um, off the grid. But almost everything else in the house is. So as you can see, I'm just using debug fencing to make the make the fence higher keep the zombies out yeah and the the debug garden but I ended up putting like there is the normal garden in there as well so that your sims can can garden and grow their own food and herbs Now 
Now because I wanted to make this as functional off the grid as possible, I do only allow the Sims to <laughs> use a um, like a washboard to wash their clothes. So there, there's no laundry machine in here. And a nice little cemetery. One of those graves is recent. At first I didn't really have a plan for the for the inside. I'm just kind of working my way, changing my mind. Now this ended up being a very big build. I believe it ended up being six bedrooms? Six bedrooms and three full bathrooms. I had to sit there and figure it out. Now the decorating with this, it's pretty, it's pretty sparse and I did it that way because I thought that the people who might be living here might not have started living here at the beginning and then so you wouldn't, you wouldn't see a lot of knickknacks and stuff because they haven't been carrying knickknacks with them. And the furniture doesn't necessarily all match with the same style because I thought somebody might bring their, you know, bring their own furniture. Or like they need they need a couch and so they went out and found a found a couch. I don't know. Maybe people don't do that during the zombie apocalypse. I wouldn't know. Everything so far has just, uh, it's been fiction. <laughs> so we have the nice little cemetery there. And just working on the, the backyard. I ended up being really happy with this build. I really liked it. I like this, I put a little shed out here. I figured this is a farm. There would probably be some barns, but I decided to just make a little shed instead. That rhymed. <laughs> uh, so you see like the little woodworking bench out there. And there's just some gardening tools and stuff. I just thought it added a nice little touch. So you see I'm using a lot of debug items for clutter. And if you just see random stuff on the lawn, that's because I went through debug and just started anything that I liked, I just started putting it on the putting it on the ground. And then I would go back for it later. The wallpaper that I used in this build I just found was very country. Like this house has never has never been redecorated and updated. Because it's out in the middle of nowhere. That's what makes it such a great compound area for the zombie apocalypse. Come on, guys. You get it. But seriously, The Walking Dead, good show. I'm sticking with you, The Walking Dead. Lots of people abandoned you. But I didn't. Actually, my parents abandoned The Walking Dead. They ended up being so horrified with one specific scene that that was it. Couldn't watch it anymore. And I get it. But... Stuff doesn't typically bother me. I mean, 
I sit in my sit in my room at night and watch Wolf Creek as I go to sleep. So things don't really bother me. I was just working on the bathrooms. The packs I used in this build are Island Living, Realm of Magic, and Laundry Day. Laundry Day for all the cutesy country stuff, which I thought would be perfect in this little out in the middle of nowhere farmhouse. And I used, for Realm of Magic, I mostly used wallpaper and like the dried herbs and stuff. But a lot of, a lot of the items are base game. I think I may have used items from like the free little holiday pack. It's free, just download it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm starting to work on the bedrooms, and again, I wanted to make things just very simple. Not a lot going on in them. Now, this game did take several game save files, but it's because I've been having some tricky issues with with my recording, and I don't know if it is because of an issue with the sim with the sims update but since the update I if I record something it'll just randomly stop recording saying that something went wrong and kind of boot me out and then the file that I had been recording doesn't work so I decided to kind of play it safe and save things <laughs> periodically um, like stop the recording and start it back up just to be on the safe side I ended up really liking what I did with the kitchen I just thought you know a sort of big kitchen like this big house like this needs a big kitchen lots of cabinetry And for the downstairs, I kept it pretty simple. Uh, there's a full bathroom, a kitchen, a formal dining area, a formal sitting area with a fireplace, and a living area. Now, because I wanted to make this as accurate as possible, there's not a television. No TV, there's just things that can be functional off the grid so I end up putting an easel in I think I do put one little like there's like a little gramophone type thing that I put in here because I figure somebody would be like oh my gosh I love this I don't know but so yeah there's uh there's no computers and there's no televisions in this build but you can work on your logic skill, your charisma, painting, and music, and fitness because of uh, because of uh, washing washing your clothes. I ended up using a lot of debug items for the kitchen, just kind of putting pots and pans places. Now you'll end up seeing one of the items that I put down, I tried to grab it and it just lives there now and you can't get rid of it. So I put a tree on top of it. <laughs> that was my mistake. Yeah, put a little bush. But debug is great. It's great for clutter. It just makes things look nice. Like you put the plunger in the bathroom and it just looks more natural. Now the lighting is going to be bad in this house and you can change it up if you want to <clears throat> if you want to download it. 
but uh, I wanted to try to make it as accurate as possible. So there's just little lanterns everywhere. There's no like real lighting in this house at all. There's candles and lanterns. And you'll see I ended up putting curtains on almost all the windows because in the zombie apocalypse you want to be able to shut your curtains at night so that none of your none of your light shines through. You don't want to attract those zombies. Hit me up in the comments and uh, tell me what your favorite what your favorite zombie movie or TV show is. There's a lot of great ones out there, some very different different takes. I and I really like I I really liked I Zombie. That was a good fun show. It was a nice combination of two of my favorite types of television shows. Zombies and crime shows. So I ended up really liking it. Kind of why I, ended, why I really liked the show Dexter as well. Felt it was a nice combination of crime and horror. It was good. Bad ending. Good show, bad ending. Like a lot of shows. Game of Thrones, everybody? <laughs> well, we don't talk about Game of Thrones. I think we, we pretend that the ending of Game of Thrones didn't actually happen. I know a lot of people who refuse to even watch the last couple episodes, and I don't blame them. So yeah, if you do end up liking this this build and you want to download it from the gallery, my ID is Rebecca Attack 16. And yeah, make sure you have Move Objects Cheat turned on. So I shift things around everywhere. And if you do like this build, please give it a thumbs up and uh, and subscribe to my channel. I post things every single week. Sometimes they're pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, drop in the comments your favorite zombie movie or TV show. Like I said, there's a lot out there. Z Nation, that was such a fun take on zombies. That was such a fun take. I really liked that show. And then movies. I mean, for movies, I gotta go Train to Busan and Shaun of the Dead. Two very different movies, but both are so, so good. I remember... When Shaun of the Dead came out, I went to the movie theater with my brother, and that, uh, I feel like it was 2004. I was in elementary school. I was in elementary school in 2004, and I went to see it, and I, I really liked it. I definitely have to thank my love for horror movies. Uh, I have to thank my brother for that because he let me watch horror movies from a very, very young age. So, thanks, Al. The running joke is that my favorite movie when I was little was Tremors. And I'm here for that. I am definitely here for that. So I'm just continuing to work on the interior here. Again, nothing too, nothing too fancy. Not a whole lot of knickknacks. I, I kind of went with the idea that some stuff was left over and some stuff was brought in by different people and that's why nothing really matches. Some of it matches and some of it doesn't. I like that kind of idea. And I did put some kids stuff in here because you might have some children 
surviving in the zombie apocalypse. If you're doing a good job, you've kept your kids safe. I, I just really, I really thought this build was fun and cute. I loved all of the fun wallpaper. Just lots of checkers and stuff. Oh, and I love, I love those swords because, yeah, there would be a table at the front gate where you would put your, you'd put your arsenal. And I think that's, I think that's cute. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Now for the pond that I made, I did use the pool tool because I wanted the Sims to be able to swim in the quote unquote pond. So I, I make it look like a pond, but uh, it's a pool so they can actually swim in it. You see sizing up and down the rocks and moving them, placing them on top of each other. Uh, again, if you, if you don't know how to size things up and down, you use the little, the little brackets on the keyboard that will size objects up and down. Just play around with that. I think it makes everything look cute. Gotta give Sims an opportunity, even in the zombie apocalypse, to have some fun. And that's why I wanted them to be able to swim. Yeah, I just wanted to make this build look kind of natural, but also give the Sims a lot of different things to do that don't involve electronics. Hence the pond that you can swim in, the chess set, the piano, the guitar, lots of different options. The easel, and the, the different kids activities and stuff as well. Keep everybody occupied. I ended up working a lot on the landscaping, putting a lot of time into the out into the outdoors because I I think a lot of their activities would be outside. You know, working on things outside, playing outside. You've got those big walls that are keeping you safe. So, I thought a lot of time would be spent outside. And I did end up using some like unkept bushes and stuff because I wanted it to look like, you know, at one point somebody would have worked hard keeping up on the gardening and pruning around here, but it's not at the top of everybody's list now. So some of the bushes are unruly, the ground cover is kind of crazy. Yeah. So again, if you do like this build, you can find it on the gallery. My origin ID is Rebecca Attack 16. And so it is available on the gallery. And again, make sure you have Move Objects Cheat turned on. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. If you, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. And comment in the comments about what your favorite zombie movie or TV show is, and tell me what you'd like me to, like me to do next. What would you like to see me do next? Let me know. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day.